Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans. I'm Jay, one of the hosts with Victoria Diecast Motorsport, and we are about to kick off our next event here at the Joshua. I hope you're as excited as I am. We're going to first start with time trials here as we take our first look at our eight competitors in this event. This is our hatchback championship. The top two of these competitors will advance for our end of season finale. But before we can even get to the racing, each competitor is going to get one lap down the track to try to put up their best time in order for us to see this tournament. And here's our first competitor. It's a 2020 Fiat 500E weighing in at 31.5 grams. Nice metallic orange paint job on that Fiat. Now this is our only electric vehicle in this tournament. So really curious to see how it does as we watch it round Jesus Saves Corner. Right now looking maybe a little slow. Let's take a look at the time. Okay, 14.38, pretty average time. Next is our 2018 Ford Focus RS weighing in at 34.5 grams. I love the double white racing stripes on that car as it takes off, rounding turn two. Get, getting by Slam Man's Corner, looking really fast right now. Let's see what the time says. Wow, 12, 175. Very fast time. All right, next up is the 88 Honda CRX, weighing in at 32.3 grams. That will be a tough time to beat that that Ford just put up. Let's see what the Honda CRX can do. As the Honda takes to Slam Man's Corner and Jesus Saves Corner. Rounds Power Plan in the pond. And let's see what that time is. Comes across the line with a 14.419. So taking third place right now in the time trials. Next is a 2019 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Weighing in at 34.8 grams. And I gotta call out my favorite color red love the paint job on this mercedes benz let's see how that benz does here looking pretty good let's see what that time is 13 814 that's going to put the mercedes in second place right now next is the 2001 mini cooper weighing in at 41.7 grams i believe this is our heaviest competitor in the tournament as the Mini Cooper takes off to the Joshua. Can the Mini Cooper put up a good time? A little bit of a drift there, looking a little slow as the Mini Cooper comes around the final corner and crosses the line. Whoa, a 16126. Very slow time for that Mini Cooper. Next is a 2018 Subaru WRX STI. Weighing in at 33.1 grams. Nice bright yellow paint job on that Subaru as it takes off. 16 seconds should be pretty easy to beat, but I want to see if it can crack 12 seconds as the Subaru comes down across the line. 14.173. So the Ford remains at the top right now. Can anyone beat that Ford? Next, we have an 85 Toyota AE86 Sprinter Tureno, weighing in at 36.1 grams. Okay, here goes that Toyota down the track, around Slam Man Corner. Can the Toyota beat that Ford's time? As we watch the Toyota come across the line here, 13702, that's going to put the Toyota in second place. And our last competitor is a 2017 VW Golf, that's Mark 7, weighing in at 35.1 grams. Bright green paint job, nice graphics on the car. It looks fast, but is it fast? As we watch the Golf, looking fast, I must say, a little bit of a slide there. But that's a 13119, landing it in second place. So there's your results, and there is your bracket. We will see all eight of these competing shortly. Next up will be group one, 
in our qualification stage. Welcome back Diecast Racing fans. I'm Jay, one of the hosts with Victoria Diecast Motorsport and the hatchbacks are out. All the fans have brought their hatchbacks out in support of this tournament as we get set to kick off group one. Here they are, the Ford Focus RS, the Mercedes-Benz A-Class, that Fiat 500E, along with that black Mini Cooper with the white roof. Here's our tournament bracket. You can see group one there and group two. We're gonna run group one here in this episode. There's the race format. Four races, the grid's gonna rotate each race. The reminder on scoring. Remember, tiebreakers are determined by the best lap time. And here we go with race one, the Ford Focus with the pole position. Still holding that lead, a little trio there at the front and the Fiat just spun out, caused by that Mercedes. Ford still leading and the Ford Focus picks up the win with a 12-5-1-2 as the Mini Cooper slowly makes its way down past the line. So, Ford Focus RS, our number one seed based on the time trials, kicks things off with five points. Pretty good track time too. Let's take a look at the action here as the Ford leads. There's that trio at the front and take a look at that move. Mercedes puts on the Fiat, spins it around, causes the Mini Cooper to get delayed there too. As we watch that Ford continue to dominate there, rounding the final corner, crossing the line. Mercedes with second. Let's kick things off here with race two, the Mini Cooper with the pole position. And just lost the pole, the Ford Focus takes the lead. Mini Cooper spins around, holding up traffic. Whoa, that's a nice move. The Ford may be showing off a little bit. Ends up finishing in reverse, and we've got a car on the rail. That's the Mercedes A-Class, DNF'd. Ford, another five points. That's gonna put the Ford way up top with 10. Fiat in second with four, tied with the Mini Cooper. Let's take a look at the action here. First, right out the gate, the Ford Focus RS takes the pole away from the Mini Cooper around turn two. And we'll see here, the Mini Cooper spins, ends up holding that Mercedes up along with the Fiat. Ford, wide open track. And maybe, yeah, maybe a little showboating there by the Ford. Spins around, real clean 180, and crosses the line in reverse. Another good track time, too. So here we go, race three, that Fiat with the pole position. They take off, Ford's right behind the Fiat. As they round Jesus Saves Corner. Whoa, that's a tight grouping there. Mini Cooper holds up the Ford and the Fiat with the win as the competitors cross the line there. So Fiat, five points, nicely done. Looks like the Mini Cooper was trying to make a move. We're gonna catch this on the replay here. Here we go. So first, notice the Ford Focus goes from third to second, getting by that Mini Cooper. And they round turn four, pretty clean, but here's where the action strikes. That Mini Cooper is trying to make a double pass on the outside, but just doesn't have the speed. And ends up in second, and then slides and slows that Ford down, causing a, a bunch up there, allowing the Fiat to take the win. All right, final race, race four. A-class Mercedes with the pole. They take off, Fiat takes the, the lead. Mercedes chasing that Fiat though, trying to reclaim the pole position. Oh, the Fiat spins and wins the race and the Ford comes to a stop just shy of the finish line. Here comes the Mini very slowly and stops as well. The Mini Cooper DNFs on the final straight along with the Ford Focus RS. Wow. Very unfortunate there, double DNF. Fiat picks up five. 
Let's see what the scoreboard has to say after this instant replay. First, the Fiat on the outside gets the, takes over the pole there, getting past the Mercedes. Tight group of three there. Ford gets kind of knocked back by the Mercedes. It's Fiat Mercedes at the front now as they round the pond in the final corner. The Fiat ends up spinning around. And look at that Ford here. Gets sideways out of the final corner and just cannot recover from it. Very unfortunate for that Ford. And as we watch the Mini Cooper just having a tough day. And I believe is in last place in points. Yep. And there's your two qualifiers. The Fiat 500E and the Ford Focus RS. Way ahead of the other two competitors. So congratulations to them. They're going to advance to our finals. And we will have group two coming up in our next episode. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans. I'm Jay, one of the hosts with Victoria Diecast Motorsport. And you are tuning in to group two of our hatchback championship. We had a lot of action in group one. We saw the Fiat 500E and the Ford Focus RS advance to the finals. Which two from this group will advance to the finals? We got a VW Golf, Toyota Sprinter Torino, a Subaru WRX STI, and a Honda CRX. There's that updated tournament bracket. Number five seed, number one seed are in the finals. There's a reminder on our race format. And the scoring model here at Vittoria Diecast Motorsport. And race one is about to start. And they're off. The VW Golf with the pole. Subaru picked up second and just got by the Golf for first. So Subaru, some good moves there. And the WRX STI is going to take the first win with a great track time. Honda DNF'd at Slam Man's corner. Maybe we'll have some evidence of what happened in the replay. So the number six seed, Subaru, picks up five points with two overtakes that race. Let's take a look at the, the action here as we slow things down. First, Subaru gets by the Toyota to pick up second around turn two. And then the golf switches to that outside lane, giving the Subaru room to pass. And the Subaru gets by pretty cleanly there. The golf and Toyota were side by side there, but the golf prevailed taking second. Well, holding second after Subaru took the pole away. And Subaru kicks things off with a 12.309. Really good track time. Race two, Honda with the pole. They take off. Golf gets by the Honda. Taking first place right now. Honda holding second. But Golf with plenty of room. Takes first. Whoa, we got a photo finish here. Let's take a look. Looks like Honda, Toyota, Subaru in that order for second, third, and fourth. Honda got sideways out of that final corner. Creating a bit of a mess there. And the Golf picks up the win. Is now on top of the board. Let's take another look at the action first. The Golf in that outside lane gets around the Honda to take the pole and starts separating itself from everybody else very quickly from there on out. The Honda may have been slowing the others down, but that Golf had so much room. Just a wide open track, no one even close. So the Golf, pretty strong performance there. There's that slide. The Honda just loses control of that vehicle and causes some commotion there at the finish line. Race three, Subaru takes off with the pull. Uh, we lost the Golf. I believe the Golf just DNF'd at Slam Man's Corner. Subaru, easy win there. Yes, there it is, the Golf, DNF, Slam Man's Corner. Very similar to what happened to the Honda. I believe that was in race one. So Subaru picks up five. Let's see what the scoreboard looks like. Subaru now on top with 11. Golf drops to second. Here's another look at the action. Honda 
Taking a look here. Yeah, look at the golf. There's on the rail. Maybe caused by that Honda and Toyota. Slowed it down enough. Take a look at the top of your screen there. You can see the golf just come to a stop. And it was all Subaru this race. WRX STI, that bright yellow car. Looking strong. Well done for that Subaru. Honda just barely picks up second there. Final race, Subaru up top. Toyota with the pole, they take off. Toyota still holding that pole position from that Subaru, who we know is fast. The Toyota looking really good. And the Toyota picks up the win. As the other competitors come by, wow, nice track time. Toyota with five, needed it. What's that gonna do to the scoreboard? We'll have to wait to see right now. Let's look at the replay of this one. Toyota does a great job defending against that. Oh, look at that. Honda got sideways there, slowing that golf down out of turn two, creating that gap between first, second, third, and fourth. Number one and two just take off. And the Toyota looking really good. Nice distance between it and the Subaru, who we know is fast. That might have been the fastest time of the night. 12.243. Well done. And wow, look at that. Toyota steals second place from the Golf. Subaru, Toyota advancing to the finals. Two pretty strong competitors. We'll see how they do against that Fiat and Ford Focus. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans. I'm Jay, one of the hosts with Victoria Diecast Motorsport. And it's almost time for our finals in the Hatchback Championship, which means I've got Kay here with me. Thanks, Jay. Hey, race fans. As we take a look at the four finalists from left to right, you've got the yellow Subaru, the orange Fiat, the blue Ford, and the white Toyota. But before we get to the racing, let's look back at a few key moments in the qualification stage. We'll start with race one in group two. Keep your eyes on the Subaru here, who gets by the Toyota there, and then gets by that VW Golf. Picking up two spots there in that race. Yeah, that was a pivotal moment for the Subaru in the qualification stage. Now, keep your eyes on the Fiat here. This is race four in qualifications, who just got by the Mercedes and takes the pole and is able to kind of ward off that Mercedes who wanted to reclaim the pole, ends up spinning, and then capitalizes on a Ford DNF. Now, let's take a look at the Ford. This is race two in qualifications, group one, who rips by that Mini Cooper at turn two and just pulls away. That Ford Focus is fast, and of course, the showboating move, which was, you know, pretty cool to see. Now, let's cut to race four in group two. Keep your eyes on the white Toyota. Who has the pole and really has to Put some effort in to hold off that Subaru, who we know is fast. Toyota does a nice job maintaining pole position and really benefited from the VW DNF that we had seen earlier. So there's your recap. As for the finals, we'll have four races with the grid rotating after each one. Top two in points will advance to our end of season finale. And there's a reminder on scoring. And I think we're ready to kick this off. Yeah, let's do it. Race one, yellow Subaru with the pole position. They take off. Ford gets by the Fiat. Is now in second. Toyota gets by the Fiat. Fiat drops to last place. Subaru, a little bit of defense there against the Ford. And the Subaru wins race one. Five points are rewarded to the WRX STI. Ford had to settle for second there. Tried to make a move, but ended up hitting the back of the Subaru. Here's a replay of the action. Notice Ford getting past the Fiat there. Take a look at Toyota getting by the Fiat as well. So Fiat, the big loser here in this race. As they round turn four, Subaru having to ward off that Ford. There's the tap. So nice defense maneuver there. And Subaru wins the first race. Great track time, by the way. Almost puts up a sub 12 second time. Race two, 
Toyota, pole position, here we go. They take off, Subaru takes the pole away from the Toyota, Toyota drops back to second. They round the pond, Subaru spins out, and the Ford gets by. Wow. That Ford just pulled off a double overtake there, jumped from third to first, and picks up a well-earned five points. Really nice move, Ford Subaru tied at the top with eight. Let's take a look back at some of the action first. Subaru gets by Toyota. And then the Ford gets by the Fiat, moving up from fourth to third place. As they round Jesus saves corner, Subaru still leading here. But here's the mistake. Subaru gets sideways, spins around, Toyota taps, and Ford gets by them both on the outside, coming down the final straight. Great move for Ford, who deserves those five points. All right, here we go, race three. Now Ford with the pole position. They take off, Ford leading still. It's Toyota chasing the Ford. Subaru got sideways, held up Fiat. And the Ford is way ahead. And wow, 11.861. I believe that's a new track record. If you look at the scoreboard, it is new track record 11861 for the Ford Focus. What did you expect from our number one seed with the pole position? That Ford is fast. There's another look at Subaru getting sideways there, holding up Fiat. Who nobody really had a chance though in this race with Ford in the pole position. It was Ford all lap long. Well done for the Ford as we watch Subaru and Fiat come across the line. All right, final race. Ford is up top with 13. Subaru is in second with 10. Fiat with the pole still has the pole, and Ford gets by. Ford leading. Fiat trying to catch up, but the Ford Focus RS is so fast. Fiat stops, gets slammed. And we have a trio coming across the line. Wow. The Fiat was pushed to its limit, which caused it to lose control in the final corner while trying to catch that Ford. Here's the Ford overtake on Fiat. Toyota could not get by the Fiat, but the Ford did. As they round Jesus Saves Corner, Toyota nice block there on Subaru, but Ford, once Ford got by that Fiat, it was no stopping it. Fiat tried to push that car to the limit, lost control of the vehicle, comes to a stop, gets slammed by Toyota, and Fiat, Toyota, and Subaru come across the line as a trio. There's your final results. Ford with 18 points, a near perfect score. And it's Subaru who takes the runner up spot. So congratulations to that Ford Focus RS and the Subaru WRX STI. They will both advance to our end of season finale. Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time here on Vittoria Diecast Motorsport.